make the grey scholars. I've got two examples here to show you first. So we've got two options on how to finish off the neckline and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the tutorial. You've got the bow tie detail and then I've also done the button and the button loop detail. So you just create the loop and then you just pop a button on and it gives two different looks. So for the tutorial, obviously I'm going to just show you how to do the grace collar. At the end, I'll show you how to do either of these fastenings, really simple. So for the tutorial I used, for these two, I used Drops Lima Double Knit Yarn. And for the one we're going to do in the tutorial, I'm going to be using the Signet Pure Wool Superwash Double Knit in this gorgeous copper colour. And you need approximately 70 to 100 grams of double knit yarn. 4mm hook, darning needles to sew in your ends and as I always recommend if you're new to crochet some stitch markers and this tutorial is in UK terms so if you're watching from the US you just need to be aware of that so when I say for example half treble it would be half double crochet if I say double crochet, it would be single crochet. So just be aware of that. Obviously the stitches are exactly the same. It's just that we say them differently here in the UK. And I do have a full stitch conversion on my website, loopymabel.com. And I'll pop the link for that in the box below and you can refer to that. And also there'll be a full PDF downloadable pattern as well in my shop that you can download too. So we're gonna start off with a chain. So just, just form our slip knot. Right, let's begin. So we're going to chain 52. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And that's your chains. So continue like that till you've got 52 chains. So 52. So pause the video and I shall see you when you've got 52 chains. So there we go, 52 chains. And we're going to go down into the second chain from our hook. So obviously this does not count as anything that's on your hook. So you're just going to count back. And if you're not sure what you're looking at when you're looking at the chains there, the way I do it is each chain has a V, a V shape. And obviously each V consists of two, two lines there. So what I do is I count one of the lines, so that's one chain, second line is the second chain, and that's how I count. So we're gonna go into the second chain from our hook, so there's the first chain, there's the second chain, we're gonna insert our hook into that second chain. And we're gonna be working half trebles, obviously if you're watching from the US, it'll be half a double crochets. So into the second chain, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So before we continue with the rest, let's just insert our stitch marker here at the top of that first half treble that we've just done. Just insert your stitch marker there. And we know that's our first stitch. And we're gonna yarn over, we're gonna go down into the next, exactly the same, yarn over, pull through, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over, down into the next. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. So if you continue like that all the way along in every chain, pause the video and I shall see you somewhere towards the end and we'll go on to row two. So just got a couple more to do. So just finish off this row. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and the last one there. And that's our first row complete. So for every row, beginning of every row throughout this tutorial, we're gonna chain one and turn, and that chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as a stitch at all. So chain one and turn. So for row two, we're gonna go down into that first stitch and work a half treble. So yarn over, insert our hook into that first stitch. Now, if you're not sure where we're looking at again, if you're new to crochet, you're not quite sure, turn your work so you can see the edge of it. 
and just take my hook out and you can see those V stitches. They are our individual stitches, that V shape. So when we're inserting our hook, we're inserting our hook from the side so that we're going through both parts of that V. Can you see? So be careful when you insert your hook, you're not just going through the one part of the V. You want to go through both parts of that V. So you've got two parts on there. So from the side, insert your hook. Make sure you pick up the two parts of the V and there's your stitch. And we're going to yarn over and go down into that first stitch and work a half treble. And we're going to insert a stitch marker. And then we're going to half treble into the next two. So half treble into the next two stitches. And then into the next, we're going to do two half trebles into the same stitch. So two half, so two half trebles into the same stitch. Like so. So you've got two in that same stitch. And then we're going to work a half treble over the next three stitches. So insert your hook, half treble, and into the next half treble, and then into the third half treble. And then into the next, we're going to do two into the same stitch. One. And we're just going to repeat this all the way along. So the next three stitches will be your half treble. One, two, three, and then two half trebles into the next. One, and two. So do that one more time. So half treble into the next three stitches. One, two, and three, and two down into the next. S same stitch. So just continue along all the way now, three half trebles, a half treble into the next three stitches, two half trebles into the next, half treble into the next three stitches, two half trebles into the next, all the way along. And I shall see you somewhere around about here and I'll show you how to finish off row two. So I'm down to my last four stitches there. So I'm going to do my two half trebles into this next stitch. One, two, and finish off with a half treble in the remaining three. So one, two and into that last stitch and we know it's there because we've got our stitch marker. Now if you didn't have your stitch marker that could quite easily be missed. If I didn't have that there you could quite easily miss that so that's why I recommend you use those. So last half treble into that last stitch. Finish off row two and we're going to chain one and turn. And for row three, we're going to do a half treble into the first stitch in, and place our stitch marker in. And then we're going to do a half treble in every stitch. like so. So I'll just pause the video and half treble in every stitch and I'll see you somewhere towards the end of row three. So I've just got a few more stitches on this end and not forgetting that last one there where my stitch marker is. And that's row three. And you can see the collar starting to curl, form its shape. So for row four, chain one and turn. 
and we're just going to repeat row two. So half treble into our first stitch, stitch marker, and then half treble into the following two. One, and two, and then two trebles into the next, and then three trebles over the next, treble, sorry, a treble over the next three stitches, and then two into the next, and then a treble over the next three stitches, and just repeat this all the way along. And I shall see you somewhere towards the end and we'll finish off row four. Right, so I'm down to my last four stitches. So I'm just going to do two half trebles into the next. And then finish off with half treble in the remaining three. Into that last one. And that's row four. So I'll move on to row five, chain one and turn. And we're just going to repeat this row we've just done again. So half treble into the first stitch. And then half treble in to the next two. And then two half trebles into the next. And then half treble in the following three. And then two into the next. And we're just going to repeat this all the way along. So to recap, we're going to do half treble into the next three two half trebles into the next, half treble in the next three, two half trebles in the next, all the way along. Pause the video and I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll finish off row five. So just come to the end of row five. So we've done our two half trebles and then we've done one, two, three half trebles over the next three stitches and we're left with three stitches here. So we're just going to do our two half trebles into the next. and then finish off with a half treble in the remaining two stitches. One and then the last one. Into that last stitch there. And that's row five complete. So we're gonna chain one and turn. Right, so row six. So into the first stitch again, work our half treble. And then we're going to chain one, skip one, so skip the next one, and half treble into the next. Skip that one, half treble into the next. Chain one, skip one, half treble into the next. Chain one, skip one, half treble into the next. And we're going to do this all the way along. And that's going to form that pretty eyelet type of pattern. So if I leave you to continue on, so let's just remind you. So chain one, skip one, half treble into the next, all the way to the end. So pause the video. Chain one, skip one, half treble. Chain one, skip one, half treble. And I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll finish off row six. Oh, before I go, don't forget to put your stitch marker in on your first stitch. Forgot to mention that. Right, so I'm just coming to the end of row six and I've got two stitches left. So I'm just going to chain one, skip one and into that last stitch, finish off with a half treble. So I'll just take out my stitch marker. And finish with a half treble. So you should have 48 chain spaces. So, so 48 chain spaces. And we're just going to chain one and turn. 
and move on to row seven. And we're going to do a half treble into the first stitch. Place our stitch marker. And we're going to work into that chain space and we're going to do two half trebles. So up, yarn over, insert your hook into that space and work two half trebles down into that space like so. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch and down into the next and do two more half trebles. One. And two, chain one, skip that stitch there, and two half trebles down into this chain space. And we're going to repeat this all the way along. So chain one, skip the stitch, two half trebles into the chain space. So if you want to pause the video and work all the way along, and I'll just recap. So chain one, skip that stitch, and two half trebles down into the chain space. Continue like that and I shall see you somewhere towards the end as usual and we'll finish off row seven. So I've just got a couple more to do. So I've got my chain space. So I'll just finish off with my two half trebles into that chain space. Chain one, skip one, two half trebles into that last chain space. Finishing off with a half treble in that last stitch. So just remove your stitch marker. And half treble and that's row seven so for row eight chain one and turn half treble into that first stitch stitch marker chain one and we're going to go down in to that chain space and work two half trebles. So we're just going to work into the chain spaces. Chain one. And two half trebles into the chain space. Chain one, two half trebles into that chain, oops. And two half trebles down to the next chain space. Chain one, two half trebles down into the next. So basically we're just working in to those chain spaces like so. So I'll just recap, chain one, work two half trebles down into that chain space. We're going to do that all the way along. So if you want to pause the video and I shall see you somewhere round about here and I'll show you how to finish off row eight. So I'm just coming to the end of this row. So I've chained one. I'm just going to do my two half trebles into that last chain space. Chain one, two and half treble in to that last stitch where that stitch marker is. And that's row eight complete. So we're going to chain one and turn ready for row nine. And again into that first stitch, we're going to work our half treble. Insert your stitch marker. And then we're going to work it into that chain space again with two half trebles. One, two, chain one, and then repeat two half trebles into the chain space. Chain one, two half trebles into that chain space. So if I leave you to work the rest of row nine, chain one, two half trebles into the chain space. Chain one, two half trebles into the chain space. Pause the video and I shall see you somewhere towards the end as usual and we'll finish off row nine. 
So just at the end of row nine, so I've just got to chain one and do my half, two half trebles into that last chain space and then finished with a half treble in that last stitch there. Just remove my stitch marker. And that's row nine complete. So moving on to row 10, chain one and turn. And again, work a half treble into that first stitch. Place our stitch marker. And then we're going to work a half treble into every half treble of the previous row and a half treble into the chain space. So half treble into the next stitch, then into the next, and then one into the chain space. So one into the next, one into the next, and then one into the chain space. So just to recap, half treble into the next, half treble down into the next, and then half treble into that chain space. So just going to repeat that all the way along, half treble into the two half trebles there, and a half treble in the chain space. All the way along, pause the video, and again, I'll see you at the end somewhere of row 10 and we'll finish row 10 and move on to row 11. So just at the end of row 10, so I'm just going to finish off with half trebles in the last three stitches. Move my stitch marker for that last one there. And that's row 10. So row 11 is chain one and turn and half treble in to that first stitch. And we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. We're going to skip three, so one, two, three, go down into the next with double crochet. Then we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five and we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four, down into the next. So skip four, one, two, three, four, down into the next and double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip four, one, two, three, four, down into the next, double crochet. And we're just going to repeat that all the way along. So chain five, skip four, double crochet into the next. So pause the video, work chain five, skip four, double crochet all the way along and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 11 and we shall finish off and work on to row 12. So just finished my last chain five, skip four, double crochet. I've got four stitches left so we're going to chain four, skip three and half treble into that last stitch there. And that's row 11 complete. And we're going to chain one and turn. Half treble into that first stitch. And we're going to work five half trebles into that chain space. Then we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then work five half trebles into the next chain space. And we're just going to repeat this all the way along, working five half trebles into the chain space. and a double crochet into that double crochet of the row below. And pause the video and continue on, five half trebles into the chain space, a double crochet into the next, five half trebles into the chain space, double crochet into the next. Pause the video and I shall see you somewhere towards the end and we'll finish off row 12. So I've just come to the last section and I'm just gonna do 
five trebles into that last chain space. And I'm just going to finish with five half trebles into that chain space. And one last half treble into that last stitch there. And that's row 12. So let's do row 13. Chain one and turn. And again, work a half treble into that first stitch. We're going to chain two. Skip two double crochet and then we're going to chain five skip five and then double crochet into the next and what you'll find is it's the middle one of the five half trebles that we're going to be doing our double crochet in so chain five Skip five, which is one, two, three, four, five, and it brings you to that middle one. Insert your hook and do a double crochet. So I'm just going to repeat this all the way along. So chain five, skip five, double crochet into the next. So if I leave you to continue on, so chain five, skip five, double crochet, chain five, skip five, double crochet. Pause the video and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 13. I shall see you somewhere to the end of row 13 and then we'll move on to the next row. So I'm just towards the end now. So I'm just gonna finish off with my chain five. Skip five, a double crochet. Then chain two. Skip the last two and down into that last stitch. I should have had my stitch marker in. Uh, half treble to finish off. So let's move on to row 14. So we've got to chain one and turn and do our half treble as usual in the first stitch. And into that chain space, we're going to do two half trebles. double crochet into the next and then into the chain space five half trebles and then a double crochet into the next stitch and then into the chain space five half trebles so just going to repeat this again all the way to the end so five half trebles in the chain space double crochet into the next and then five half trebles into the chain space pause the video continue on five half trebles double crochet five half trebles double crochet all the way along uh, pause the video I'll see you somewhere around about here so I've just finished my five half trebles into that chain space. Going to continue with a double crochet into the next and then finish off with two half trebles into that last chain space. And finish with one more half treble into that last stitch. Again, I forgot to put my stitch marker in. Sorry, guys. But hopefully you'll have put your stitch marker in. And that is row 14. So for row 15, chain one and turn, half treble into that first stitch. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip five, double crochet into the next, which again is similar to the row below, which will be the middle one again. Double crochet, chain five. Skip five, double crochet into the next. 
So just to recap, chain five, skip five, which is one, two, three, four, five, double crochet into the next, which is the middle one, always going to be the middle one to do your double crochet. So if you want to pause the video, continue on, chain five, skip five, double crochet, chain five, skip five, double crochet, and I shall see you somewhere around about here. And we'll finish off row 15 and we've only got row 16 and row 17 to go. So we're almost there. So just towards the end, so I'm just going to finish off with my chain five. Skip five, which brings us nicely to that last stitch and half treble. So row 16, chain one and turn. Half treble in to that very first stitch. We're just going to work into the chain space and work five half trebles. And then we're going to work a double crochet into the next. And then five half trebles into the chain space. Double crochet down into the next. And then five half trebles. So just pause the video. Work five half trebles into your chain space. Double crochet into the next. So five half trebles, double crochet, five half trebles, double crochet, five half trebles. All the way, pause the video. I'll see you somewhere around about here and we'll finish off row 16 and got one more row to go. So just gonna finish off so we're just going to finish off row 16 with our five half trebles into this la last chain space. And then a half treble into that last stitch. So we've just got our final row, which is our gorgeous bobble edge there. So let's chain one and turn. And we're going to work a double crochet into our first stitch. So insert your hook and work your double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five and into that double crochet from the row below we're going to work our bobble and it's going to be four incomplete trebles so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two leave it there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two leave it there and again and one more time So you should have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five. We're going to go back down into that stitch and work a slip stitch. And that creates that bobble. So down into the next, we're going to work a double crochet and double crochet along five double crochets in total. which will bring us to our double crochet from the row below. And we're just going to work our bobble stitch. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, leave that there. And again, and twice more. So you should have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five, insert your hook back down, pull through and slip stitch. So we're going to repeat this all the way along, five double crochets in the next five, 
your bobble stitch in the double crochet from the row below. So five double crochets, bobble stitch, five double crochets, bobble stitch. Pause the video and I shall see you somewhere towards the end and we'll finish off the collar and then I'll show you how to do the option of the bow tie or the option of the loop and button. Pause the video and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 17. So just coming to the end, the last bit of this final row, just finishing off with my double crochets and the last one there. And that completes our collar. So I'm just going to trim the yarn and just pull that through. And there we have our gorgeous bobble edging. So I'll quickly show you how to, obviously we're going to sew in our ends and I'll show you quickly how to sew in your ends if you're not sure how to do it. Just thread your yarn onto your darning needle and just simply weave in and out to secure. So from the back, now you can tell it's the back because the bobbles show on the front. So you turn it to the back facing you and you just literally thread your needle through a few stitches. Maybe go back over and through a few more just to secure that end. And then we're just going to trim that like so. So for the button loop version, we're going to rejoin our yarn at the top of the collar. Now you can ha have your loop either side, doesn't really matter which side you prefer to have your loop. The top part of our collar there, right at the very top, I'm just going to insert my hook and bring my yarn through. Now this is going to be the same method for the tie version. I'll explain that in a second. And it's sim really, really simple, I'm just going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And I'm just going to go back down into that same place where we started and slip stitch to form the button loop. And then slip stitch your claws and I would cut the yarn and then sew in the ends and there you have your button loop. Really easy and then obviously you just pop your button on the opposite side. So for the tie version, Exactly the same what I've just done, but instead of chaining seven, I chained 45, chained 45, and then I literally double crocheted all the way back down that chain just to give it a little bit more structure for the tie because I think a chain on its own is a little bit flimsy. So I just double crocheted all the way back down, finished off and stitched in my ends, and then I did exactly the same on the other side. Attached my yarn, chained 45, then double crocheted all the way back down and fastened off my end and stitched the, the ends in. And it's as simple as that. And there is our button loop. And I'm just going to pop a button on. So just line up roughly where it's going to be. I'm just going to pop a little rustic button on. And there's a little button sewn on. I'll just fasten the loop just to show you. And what I would recommend is you block your work. I'll pop a picture in of how I block my work. I literally spray the, spray the garment, dampen it over with a spray bottle of water on a nice flat surface, pop some pins in so it keeps the shape of it while it dries. And literally I just leave it overnight and it'll dry lovely and flat and then you should get a lovely flat finish to your collar.